Beretta. 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 Hey guys, it's Crystal. Happy Friday. Today we're going to be making Bianca pizza. What is that? It's pizza without tomato sauce. It's going to be very cheese heavy. We're going to be using burrata. Burrata. You'll see that I have a tough time announcing that. <laughs> We're also going to be using mozzarella and a whole bunch of different things. We're going to be making our own dough. And let's figure this thing out together. After a quick little trip to the local Sprouts, picked up some nice cheeses that we're going to be using for this pizza. We have mozzarella and burrata. Burrata. I don't know how to pronounce it. Burrata? It looks like burrata. Burrata. <laughs> <laughs> First order of business, gotta get that dough going. Dough. We got a packet of instant yeast, a cup of flour. You need one and a half teaspoons of sugar. And then we just did one fourth teaspoon of some garlic powder. Three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Then we got two tablespoons of some olive oil. Now we got three fourths of a cup of warm water. And the instructions say to stir very well. They emphasize very well with a wooden spoon. So that's this step right here. The instructions say to gradually add another cup of flour. So that's what we're doing now during the mixture. And then it said to generously drizzle a large bowl with some olive oil and use a pastry brush to go in with it. I hope that this is a pastry brush. I think so says to lightly dust our hands with some flour and to make this into a ball. And now we're going to transfer into our olive oil brushed bowl. So we're just gonna make sure that this ball really gets all the olive oil all into it, all absorbed. The instructions advise us to cover it with some plastic and to let the dough rise for about 30 minutes or until it's doubled in size. So now we're pushing the dough into a circle, making it look like a pizza. So this is how pretty it's looking so far. Super exciting. Now we're gonna be sprinkling the self-shredded mozzarella. We wanna keep it away from the crusts. Now we wanna add some red pepper flakes. Look at that. Makes the color really pretty. A little bit of salt. Garden time. Picking up six pieces of spinach. Now we're adding in the spinach here. Now, the specific recipe we're following actually called for basil leaves, fresh basil leaves, but we're gonna be substituting that out for spinach because, well, spinach tastes awesome. Sticking it in the oven for 15 minutes. pizza turned out to be delicious. I'm so happy we did this. This was very delicious video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Burrata.